Hello everyone, and welcome to Left of Meta! The idea behind this series is to highlight some decent to good sets that can be good for either newer players who want a good starting point to work from, or for older players who just want to mess around and look at some of the sets that aren't Reliquin, Sororia, Yolnikrin, and Olarime for their DPS tanks and healers. And before we get into the actual sets, a couple of very quick ground rules. First off, these sets will always be Overland PvP crafted sets or base game dungeons. And they will be tested alongside other sets, which will be listed in the video and linked in the description below. For the most part, those sets will be Leviathan from Crypt of Hearts and the Maelstrom Bow for stamina characters, Mother Sorrow from Deshaun and the Maelstrom Staff for Magicka characters, Spell Power Cure, and the Master's Resto Staff from White Gold Tower for healers, and Evan Armory for tanks. This week's set is called War Maiden. It is the Vardenfell Overland, and the body pieces at least are still relatively cheap on Guild Store. This set gives the following benefits. At two items, it adds 657 spell critical. At three items, it adds 1096 maximum magicka. At four items, it adds 129 spell damage. And at five items, it adds 600 spell damage to your magic damage abilities. This video also includes the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt mythic and one piece of the Slime Craw set. So at first glance, this set looks good, right? It's 600 damage, which is a lot compared to, say, Silks of the Sun, which is only 400 for all of your fire damage, or Law of Julianos, which is only 300 damage. But there is a slight problem with that. You see, this only affects your magic damage. So if you're a class like a Magicka Nightblade or a Magicka Templar, or to a lesser extent Magicka Sorcerer, this is a decent set for you because it affects your jabs, it affects your swallow souls, it affects all of those things that deal raw magic damage. But it doesn't affect anything that deals an elemental damage like a fire or a lightning or an ice skill. So this doesn't actually help your wall of elements, this doesn't help your light attacks, this doesn't help basically anything else. If you've got skills in your rotation, that don't deal magic damage, this doesn't buff them. All in all, this set is okay-ish? You get decent damage out of it at least, but you're not going to get that damage for every skill. And while 600 is a lot of damage and it is certainly nothing to scoff at, there is a very real argument that having that 300 damage from Law to all of your attacks that aren't magic damage is going to be a more consistent buff. That being said, this is still a very good set in its specific situation. But that'll be all for this week. Next week we will be talking about a similar set to this in Strength of the Automaton. If you're looking forward to that, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment, and I will see you all next time, and until then, good luck, stay safe, and don't die.